Hello, my name is Don Holton. I'm a member at the Exmoor Country Club here in Highland Park, Illinois. I'm standing in what we call Heritage Hall, where we display various aspects of our club's 115 year history. Exmoor was the third golf club established in the Chicago area, and golf has been played on these grounds since 1897. Over the years, we've held many important golf tournaments, including the 1933 U.S. Women's Amateur and the 65 Women's Senior. This summer, championship golf returns to Exmoor when the Western Golf Association and Exmoor will be hosting the Western Amateur Championship beginning the week of July 30th. Attend and you'll see some of the great amateurs from around the world who are coming to Exmoor for this important competition. What's more, admission is free and you won't believe how far these guys can hit the ball. This year marks the third Western held at Exmoor. The first was in 1904, when just 10 days before the starting of the event, the fire alarm rang at the old fire station on Green Bay Road, and the word spread quickly. The Exmoor clubhouse was on fire. The men's locker room burned to the ground, destroying the golf clubs of our star player, H. Chandler Egan. Egan had won the Western two years before, and captained three national championship teams for Harvard. But one question loomed, how would Egan fare with a borrowed set of clubs? Crowds flocked to Exmoor. Spectators dressed for the day, men in suits and ties, ladies in long skirts with umbrellas. Back then, as the Western does today, the event began with stroke play. Egan won this by nine shots, firing a course record 70. He then dominated his five matches, thumping Wheaton's Ned Sawyer, six and five in the final match. Two weeks later, Egan won the national championship at Baltus Rawl in New Jersey. In 1904, the names of Exmoor and Chandler Egan were on the lips of golfers all across America. The Western Amateur returned to Exmoor in 1952, when we had one of the largest fields in the history of the event, 223 players. Chick Evans, then age 62, made it to match play. But golf royalty made it to the finals when Harvey Ward met the number one ranked amateur, Frank Stranahan. Ward had defeated Frank two months before at Prestwick when he won the British Amateur. But in the final at Exmoor, Frank Stranahan eagled the par five first hole and held off a hard charging Ward, winning three and two. This case displays our club's long connection to the Western Golf Association. Exmoor was a charter member of the WGA in 1899 when it was founded to advance golf here in the Midwest. Today, the WGA organizes the BMW Championship, a professional tournament, the Western Amateur, and the Western Junior. The WGA also conducts the Evans Scholars Program, started in 1929 by Chick Evans. The Scholars Program awards college scholarships to caddies who have financial need and strong academic records. Currently, more than 850 caddies attend college on scholarship, and there are more than 9,000 Evans alumni across the country. 55 caddies from Exmoor have earned the Evans Scholarship. One of the earliest was Ed Bernardi, who won a scholarship to Northwestern University in 1948. This is Ethan Tracy of Hilliard, Ohio, last year's Western champion, who defeated the number one amateur in the world, Patrick Cantley of UCLA. And there on the right is a portrait of Chick Evans himself. And to the left is a caddy vest, which caddies wear at all WGA events. The vest is symbolic of the purpose of the Evans Scholars Program to further the educations of deserving caddies. In 2012, what can these players expect when they come here to Exmoor? Well, nothing less than a true test on a championship golf course designed by the Dean of Golf Architects in America, the famed Donald Ross. Our course measures more than 7,200 yards in length, and players will contend with the spectacular bunkers and fast greens for which Donald Ross is known. Our par threes are among the best in America, especially number eight with its tight tree line off the tee. We can't wait to see how the world's top amateurs match up here at Exmoor. The Western will also be fantastic for you, the spectator. There are no rope lines to separate you from the players, 
You can walk alongside them, even hear their conversations with their caddies. I don't know of any other sporting event where you can get so close to the action. On behalf of the entire Exmoor membership and the Western Golf Association, we invite you to the Western Amateur. Mark down on your calendar the week of July 30th. It will be a time when we can make golf history again and you can be part of it. See you then.